and welcome to Arcade Adventures for our second vlog of the day here at uh, sea, sea, sea Life. Yep, the Sea Life Centre here in London down on the South Bank. So we're going to go in, have a look around. Neither of us have been here before, but we have been to different Sea Life Centres before, but I suppose it's a really big one. Um, and understand some penguins to see as well. So we'll take you guys in and show you what it's like. Center. After the back check, you walk over whale the Whale shark! Door. Sorry. It's not a whale shark. Yes, it whale is. sharks are loads bigger. No, actually no, it's not because the whale shark. I forgot the name of the shark. Yep, you walk over this floor, which you can see straight through, down into the shark tank. Yeah, it's amazing how they somehow train the shark not to eat the fish. <laughs> yeah. What? To keep the, the sharks nice and fed so they don't eat all the fish. So in the lift we go, and down to see the fish. Yeah, that is. This supposedly fits 15 people. Yeah. No touching animals, and no flash photography. See we are the Atlantic depths. Lobsters in the back there. Can't really see them from here. Red cardinal fish. Yeah. And the the habitat is rocky shores in the Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Uh, the threat is by cats. Uh, uh, least concerned. Yeah, very common fish. Normally in the Mediterranean. Nice rocky place, but say. Um, so they should be hazel urchin, sea man. Oh dear. Go 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 back. And then <laughs> I love them. They're so cool. The snipper fish. Um, snipe fish. Wait, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and sea fans. Oh, there's, a, there's different fish in there. And these fish which aren't on that list. But they look like cod. They're yeah, not cod. Oh, Cod's a load bigger. Oh, the, the, the you won't be happy if you went on the fish and chips and that was your cod. <laughs> these little guys. Hello. Fish though, because it's like, just the nose and yeah. the way they swim. They have teeth, that's my biggest concern. Yeah, I don't know if the camera's going to show that. I'm not zooming in a little bit. So, yeah. Look around the other side, there should be. Got some pointy teeth on that guy. And then on this one, you can see it. Oh, it's fangs. You can see this fangs on this one. There's loads of stars, too. Oh, there we go. You can see that one better. Look at the teeth on that fella. He's not camera shy. You we like do a little dance. Yeah, you wouldn't like him to get all of your fingers or your feet when you're paddling in the sea. Mm. Oh, that one looks like it's about to kill someone. <laughs> well, there's like some starfish and I think I saw like another fish somewhere. Yeah, here we are at the rare tank. There's some big fish and some rays as well. Yeah, they were really friendly. Yeah, a couple of years ago when we swam with some rays, but um, discovered cove, wasn't it? Yeah. Loads of fish and rays. That was a good day. Except the wetsuits. Not the best. So 
after hatching, tail race towards the sea, tail that spends several years in passive migration, tail migrates to near shore waters to mature, tail tends to reach birth place to breed, tails lay their eggs in the sand, and it all starts again. Oh, there's another one. Oh, it's just really long. That one's really 
tiny log. Yeah, it's a different one. <gasps> yeah, tiny log one of that. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it's shrimp. It must be shrimp. Prawn. Oh. Okay. Nice big coral tank. You love a walk around? Can yeah. On the other side? It's very local fish in here. He's got his eyes above the water while the rest of his body is under. See down there, the but it is gripping onto yeah. coral. Oh, not all that one is. There we are, we've done the challenge. What well, was the challenge to see a seahorse? Um, gripping onto something. There's one there. Ah, right. Gripping onto something. Hello. Fish at the bottom there. <laughs> and these ones are the big bellied seahorses. You can see the little flipper vibrating. Oh, there's a lot of them down here. Dripping onto things. Yeah, they like to do that, seahorses. They just float everywhere, they're yeah. like light. They just go yeah. wherever the tide wants them to go. The thing is with the seahorses, they, they can't swim very well. <laughs> So they get dragged away in currents, that's why they use the tail to always grab hold of things. As you can see, that one's quite a lot. 
Now we're entering the Rainforest Adventure. I don't know what we'll find around here, but very heavily themed. Oh, oh the leaf cutter ants are scary then. Leaf cutter ants. Some frogs. There we go, some leaf cutter ants. Can you see the ants on their yeah. journey? Oh my god, that is actually crazy. I know, Cameron's going to pick that up. You can see little knobs. Them little knobs. Oh, there we go. It's not quite focused, but yeah, you can see one just going up the top there. Amazon milk frogs. It's one at the top there. And a couple here on the branch. Yeah, they're quite tricky to spot. Even though they're black and white, they do blend in really well. Their favourite food is insects, which I would say all frogs like them. <laughs> but most animals do. And also here in the rainforest area, there's these little areas where you can climb underneath the children. Head up through the dorm inside. See the animals. So here are some more of the leaf cutter ants. Can't really see well, but all them leaves moving are them ants. Hmm. Yeah, got big leaves, and then some of the ants can swim. I never knew ants could swim, but they can. In fact, there's Dad. Oh, that one's just got a tiny bit. Like, like there's so many. Like, scary. So, in here, there are some giant hissing cockroaches. As you can see, they're very big. Definitely when they say giant, they are giant. So yeah. Wouldn't want to live in there with them. Yeah, there's this little fellow down here. Yeah, little there's this turtle. little nostril, it's like a little pig. And then underneath it's his mouth. It's meant to be a snapping turtle, but it's definitely not a snapping turtle. Yeah, according to the, the placard just next to this, is supposed to be a snapping turtle in here. But, uh... And snapping turtles have long, spiky tails and a beak for the mouth. And that has nostrils. <laughs> Yeah, can't see no snapping tail in there. Yeah, see so the snapping tail is supposed to be in there, but uh, that's not a snapping oh, tail. It's called Bowser. Bowser, yeah. Like, like old Mario. Snapping tail. Bandon London Park? Yeah, and that's Now there's hey. Bowser. Yeah, here we go. We've now found the snapping tail. Is it the next tank over? Bowser! And it's just full of Bowser. Come here. Oh, yeah. There we are. Nice claws up of them. They're very sharp claws. They're right to me. As you can tell, long tail-ish, but longer than the other one. Yeah. And a lot bigger. Definitely big. Yeah, we'll want him getting all of your pinky finger. 
They have a horrible bite. But it looks friendly, this one. <laughs> Just the claws itself. So these ones are the yellow bellied ciders, the one with like the yellow on it, and yeah. then this one in the water here that I think is a eastern chicken turtle. A chicken turtle? Yeah, I would have thought because it doesn't have them stripes on its neck, but it does look like it has a yellow belly, so not sure. <laughs> But one of the two. Let's look at the dwarf crocodile. Yeah. Right in there. Hidden over at the back. This is so cute. That's that's the yellow bellied. And yellow bellied? Yeah. I think spotty turtle. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, yellow bellied. Yellow bellied turtle. I think it's by two. I'm just making that up. Craigie, yeah, ever wondered what a croc feels like? I actually, in, I'm in love with the texture of Um, I have heard of alligator. The textures are different. Well, maybe because it was a baby, but still, alligators, um, thingy, flappy things. Scales? Yeah, with down and crocodiles are up. Plus, the, the mouth is different. Oh, these are some big fish. It's quite popular to believe. You could put your arm in there and the fish would just swim away. They're piranhas. They are piranhas, yeah. But they don't eat things that are alive. Now, if you died and fell in there, yes, they'd happily munch down on you. But while you're alive, they won't be interested to be too scared. Decent sized catfish down there. Oh, there's a catfish on the glass over here, Katie. Hello. Hey, you've got big whiskers, haven't you? There's another huge fish in here as well. So we've left the rainforest area and thankfully most of the people have disappeared as well because it was getting a bit ridiculous and now with no social distancing whatsoever. It's scary. Oh, this looks like a bit of a scarier area. Yeah. Let's see what's down here. Sewers. Oh, London was Oh dear. Oh, so there's a nice interactive game over here so you can help plan the tag of it. That's maybe not even after trying to say. Big display showing you how they manage all the sewers to keep the rivers as clean as possible. So you come around to the rock pool explorer next. After the little information about the sewers, there's also a little opportunity there for people as well. Yeah. So you can come over here and wash your hands. Just on the arms, so we don't want to touch them in the middle because they 
got two bellies and they're right in the middle. That's it, lovely.
I thought they were like rock, but I guess they will catch prey easier though. Yeah, I suppose they look a bit like coral, so, so fish, might, fish might swim near them and then they'll get gobbled up. Oh, my God. 
just watching the jellyfish. Especially when they got the little. And here we are at the end of our tour around the sea like Centre here in London. Have a little look through the shop, use your sort of things, magnets, earrings, bushes of animals, seals, seahorses, turtles, dolphins, sharks, and snakes. Mini alligator. And a mini alligator. And they've also got a series of mugs and cups as well. Yeah, so we've just come out of the Sea Life Centre here in London. What do you think, Ellie? Amazing, but it's very warm. I like the penguins bit because it was cold. Yeah, it's a very warm day again here in London. And uh, yeah, it was really good in there. Really well themed, especially a lot of the areas. And there was a lot to see and a lot to do. One of the problems I had though, and it did actually make me feel really uncomfortable, was the massive lack of any sort of social distancing. It was not like... Families. It was not like the pop, like see that sent I see that fault, it was the people because there was marks on every single bit of the floor. Yeah, katie has got the hiccups. Um, yeah, there was markers on the floor for where where to stand and on signs saying only one family at a time and stuff, but people just totally oblivious to it, they just totally ignored it. There was several times that we were looking at a display, we would patiently wait, then have a look at the display, turn around to leave to move to the next one, and we're trapped. There was about and three also, families stuck around us. And also, so. I was putting my hand in like the jellyfish thing. Like, I don't think we filmed that. Yet. I'm not sure. We might have. Yeah, there's a little area where you could put your hand in to see what the jellyfish sting was like. But it didn't actually sting. It was just a bit of plastic in there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you put your finger in, your hand in there, didn't you, Kelly? Yeah, I put it in like one of them, and this other person just put the hand in. My hand was still in there. Yeah, at the same time. Like, so, yeah. Corona. Unfortunately, it did make us feel really uncomfortable. It, it did get quite claustrophobic and crowded in there. But again, Kitchen with red eyes. as Sorry. Katie said there, it wasn't anything to do with sea life. It was just, well, I suppose they could have maybe sort of controlled it a bit better. They could have um, had people going around sort of saying, you know, keep the distance and things. But um, yeah, other than that, um, it was a really good experience and definitely recommend a visit. Sea Life Centre, overall, really good, definitely worth a visit. And that's going to be the end of our vlogs from day... Wednesday today, isn't it? No, it's Monday, uh, Tuesday, day, day four of our road trip. So, yeah, that's it from London. And what we're doing tomorrow, Kelly? Can you remember? Oh, yeah, Kelly's first ever visit to Thought Park. Yeah. So make sure you like and subscribe and don't miss out on Kelly's first ever visit to the island like no other. So that's a bye from me. Say bye, Kelly. Bye, Kelly.